hopefully that stays there. Well, guys, uh, this is uh, another um, inspiration from the trap line. I uh, felt God kind of leading me to do another one here uh, this morning. Um, those of you who know that that watch our channel know that um, we're going through a pretty tough time right now. We've been for the last couple of years and it seems no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard, how hard you work, um, yeah, things... <laughs> Things are, uh, yeah. But, um, I wanted to share some stuff with you. This is, uh, every morning I do my devotions. And, um, this is a couple verses that I keep in front of my Bible. Every, every day I read them as an insurance, as assurance that God will do what he says he will do. Um, I wrote them down here. Uh, let's see. First one is Isaiah 30:18. So the Lord must wait for you to come to Him, so He can show you His love, compassion, and compassion. For the Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for His help. Um, the next one is Psalms. 31 5 I entrust <clears throat> I entrust my spirit into your hands rescue me for rescue me Lord for you are a faithful God and then Isaiah 40 29 to 31 um, he gives us the he gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless <clears throat> excuse me hmm even youths will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. A um, couple key things in these verses. Uh, in the first one, Isaiah 30:18. For the Lord is a faithful God. Again, in, in Psalms 31, 5. Rescue me, O God, O Lord, for you are a faithful God. Um, I usually change the rescue me thing to uh, rescue us. <laughs> um, and then, it's kind of amazing... Um, this, uh, Isaiah 40, 29, 31, 331, um, 31 there, those who trust upon the Lord will renew their strength and will soar with on wings like eagles. Um, it's kind of cool some mornings just be stressed out and stuff and be going to work and I'll see an eagle somewhere. Um, it's just kind of God's, I feel it's God's um, sign to me that things will be all right. You know, things don't always go the way we have planned. <laughs> Usually don't. Uh, but God is always there. And it says, like it says, those who wait for his help. Blessed are those who wait for his help. That's hard. Uh, especially for, like, I, I, I think, especially, like, us guys, um, especially me, and there's, I know other guys out there like me, uh, that are, I try and fix things. I try and 
do it. And I've, I've done this my whole life. Um, I've tried to do it a lot of times on my own. And we can't do that. Uh, in this verse, So the Lord must wait for you to come to Him so He can show you His love and compassion. Um, a lot of times... <laughs> we... <laughs> Uh, we go to ourselves first before going to God and something I'm really trying to focus on especially here in this new year is trying to focus on going to God first and instead of being trying to be a fixer and do it myself um and that's that that can be tough but we, it's something I'm really trying to focus on this year uh, yeah things things aren't always easy things get tough things happen uh, in our lives that we look around and we wonder why um, why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to us? Why, you know, and we could, we can why all day long. The biggest thing is we got to wait upon the Lord to renew our strength and to guide us. But we got to be open to that. We got to be willing to, to trust in him and, and he knows what's best for us. That's not easy. That is not easy at all. Um, we have our own selfish desires and and stuff that get in the way. And and God will stand back and say, "All right, you want it, take it. Go for it. You know, help yourself." <laughs> He's not gonna fight us. We have the ability to do things on our own, but it never turns out good. We have the ability to either do it on our own or trust in God and do and follow Him. And that's where the waiting a lot of times comes into play. The waiting for Him to open doors. I was checking my traps this morning and, you know, I was thinking as I was walking uh, that <laughs> we, we don't always, you know, that, that waiting thing, we want it, okay, God, we say, we okay, I'll, I'll wait for you, I'll wait for you. But then, if it doesn't fall in our time frame, we think, all right, and start giving up on God a little bit because it's not what we want. There again, it's our selfish thing. It doesn't, it can't, we can't let it just fall into our time schedule. It's, it's God's time schedule. He knows what's best. Um, the, the, I was thinking, like I said, when I was walking, about how some people in the Bible waited, like David, how many years and years and years and years he waited before he became king, after he was anointed king. Um, and that whole time, yeah, God was blessing him, but he was going through some hard stuff. Uh it's not always easy, but we got to keep trusting in Him and relying in Him. So, those of you who uh, do watch our channel um, know that we're, like I said, we're struggling. Sorry, camera shut off. Um, 
those of you who know watch our channel and stuff know that we're struggling on our on my wife's Facebook. I don't do the Facebook thing. I do I don't do any computer stuff. Um, computers and me don't get along. I'd rather shoot them. Um, but anyway, you you get folks that watch us know that we're going through and have been going through some tough stuff. Um, and I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying this again to boo hoo hoo poor is me whoa whoa is me, um, and I'm not saying this to ask for help or anything like that. Do not take it this that way. Um, because if you take it that way, it's not how I mean it. Uh, the reason I'm saying this stuff is so you can know that, you know, you're, maybe you are going through a tough time. That you can know that you're not the only one out there. Other people are going through stuff and we just got to pull together and trust in God um, this is kind of tough for me to say because we try so hard we tried so hard and stuff but it just a um, couple nights ago we uh found out, and again, I'm not saying this for anybody to hold oh, poor as me, um, we found out that we, uh, we lost our home, um, not physically, like, to a fire or something, but financially. Um, and it's really hard for me because I am a fixer, like I said, and it's, it's, I just, and it, it doesn't matter how hard I try, how hard I work, how many jobs I work, it just doesn't seem to be enough. And those of you who are out there, and I know you're out there, you're going through the same thing I am. I'm not the only one out there that's going through this stuff. Other people are too. The main thing that we have to do in this situation is is stay faithful to God, stay true, and wait upon Him and wait for His timing. Even if everything else falls apart, you know, I, I thank God every day. I have food on my table, you know, I have food on my table, even, even though, you know, I don't know how long we have a little bit of time, I don't, I don't know how long, um, we have to sell our home, but, um, we're gonna try and sell our home, that way we can re kind of recoup and have a little bit of money to, after paying medical bills and everything else, uh, try and, start start over again at least have a little something um but you gotta just keep looking forward and trust in god no matter what happens you gotta keep keep on trusting keep on trusting he is he is the one that's going to get you through every hard time in your life and if you don't have him in your life i strongly urge you to consider accepting christ into your life makes the hard times worth going I mean well you come out on the other side a stronger person and God will will bless you and take care of you um, it might not be in the manner that you think it, is, it should be his blessings but it will be he will take care of you he, we have his promises in his word if you trust in God's word and every word that he says is true, 
we have his promises and God doesn't lie. So those of you who are praying people, and if you're watching this, I imagine you are most likely. If not, I, I pray that God would work in your life. And I pray for those who are struggling. Um, you know what? We're going to pray. We're going to pray right now. Dear God, I come before you, Father, for just uh, thanking you and praising you for all you do for us. Your unfailing love and mercy and grace in our life. Um, I want to pray for those out there who are going through hard times like we are. Um, I pray that you would just work in their lives. Let them feel you, your presence. Um, just help them and encourage them. Um, guide them and strengthen them. Work in each situation, Lord, whether it's uh, financial, physical, whether they're going through a divorce, hard time, whatever. God, you know what they're going through. Just be with them. Give them strength and, and, and guidance and just be with them. Um, we thank you again for your many blessings. And what you're going to do, we praise you for it. And ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, so, yeah. I asked if you are a praying person, that you would keep me and my family in, in mind. And that God would help us um, sell our home for the price, a good price, a decent price. That we can actually have, after all the bills are taken care of, have something to start over on um and again i'm not asking for somebody to boohoo pours me um i'm not looking for that so uh but just uh, if you'd keep us in our prayers i'd appreciate it and uh, maybe somebody might have uh be going through something tough too leave a leave a uh message or whatever in the the comments and if we can pray for you we'd be happy to pray for you so that's people say that's the least i can do is pray for you you know what that's the greatest thing we can do for each other is pray for each other the power of god is phenomenal and we we, we say that so often like it's oh it's the least i can do you know that's the greatest thing we can do for each other best thing we can do for each other is pray for each other there's power in the name of jesus so i guess with that being said i gotta get going um, i'm already running late but um yeah so take care guys god bless we'll catch you in the next one have a good one guys